Previously, we've learned to multiply polynomials using the distributive property, the box method, and the FOIL method. However, we really only worked on multiplying two binomials together. And if you remember, the FOIL method only works for when you are using uh, multiplying two binomials together. So now I want to briefly talk about how to multiply any polynomials, whether it's two binomials, two trinomials, a binomial, and a trinomial. You cannot use the FOIL method, but you can use the distributive property and you can use the box method. We're going to do one example of each so you can see it's the same idea, just set up a little differently. Let's take a look at our first example and we're going to use the distributive property method in order to do this problem. It's the same concept, the same idea as the distributive property with two binomials, but it's a little bit more work and you have to be very careful about simplifying and combining like terms together and making sure that you have all the right signs and everything like that. So with the distributive property with two binomials, we took our first term and we multiplied it to each term in the second binomial. Well here we're going to do the same thing and we're going to take our first term and multiply it to every term in the trinomial. So I'm going to have x times x squared plus x times 2x plus x times negative 7. Alright? Again, same idea. We're going to take our second term and we're going to multiply it with every term in the trinomial. So I'm going to have plus, because I am adding all of this together, 3 times x squared plus 3 times 2x plus 3 times negative 7. Now if we start to simplify, we'll get x times x squared is x cubed plus x times 2x is 2, x times x is x squared, so 2x squared. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Then we have 3 times x squared, which is plus 3x squared. We have 3 times 2x with x, which is plus 6x. And we have 3 times negative 7, which is negative 21. This is perfect, except that we still have things that need to be simplified. We have this 2x squared and this positive 3x squared. We also have this negative 7x and this positive 6x. We need to combine those like terms. And when we do that, our final answer is x cubed. 2x squared plus 3x squared is plus 5x squared negative 7x plus 6x is negative x, and then we have negative 21, and that's our final answer. Now we're going to look at how to multiply polynomials by using the box method. Again, it's the same exact concept, but now we have a binomial, so, sorry, so two terms multiplied by a trinomial, which is three terms. So remember, when we're setting up our box, we want one square for each term. So we're going to have two rows for our binomial, and then we're going to have three columns because we have a trinomial. This is a spe an especially great way to multiply polynomials is by using this box method because, as you saw with the distributive property, it can get pretty confusing and very long really fast. So here we're going to write each box is going to have one of our terms, so 2x, negative 5, 3x squared, negative 4x, and positive 1. Again, same idea, what we multiply going across and going down, the intersections is where we multiply. So 2x, times negative 4x will go in this box. 
negative 5 times positive 1 will go in this box. So let's fill it out. 2x times 3x squared. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x squared is x cubed. Negative 5 times 3x squared. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15x squared. 2x times negative 4x. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. x times x is x squared. Negative 5 times negative 4x. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20x. Finally, we have 2x times positive 1, which is 2x, and negative 5 times positive 1, which is negative 5. Same rules apply when we're doing this box method. The diagonals line up and combine like terms. We have negative 15x squared and negative 8x squared, and we have 20x and 2x. So if we combine those like terms, we get our final answer of 6x cubed, negative 15 plus negative 8 is negative 23x squared, 20x plus 2x is 22x, and we have negative 5. And this is our final answer. So to review, we've learned how to multiply binomials using the distributive property, the box method, and FOIL. Then we've talked about in this lesson how to multiply polynomials, but we only use the distributive property and the box method because as we learned with FOIL, FOIL only works when we're multiplying two binomials together. And now you know how to multiply polynomials.